Hey guys! So I just got back from Walt Disney World in Florida and I thought it'd be fun to make a video of all the cute um, kawaii things I picked up while I was there. And this is my first video ever. This is actually my second attempt because the first one was just way... it was bad. I didn't realize how nerve-wracking it is to make videos. It's like presenting in front of an audience. But So anyways, hopefully this one will go better. Um, I apologize for the quality. I'm using the front camera on my phone and I made a tripod out of a stack of books. So <laughs> bear with me. Hopefully the cuteness will overcome the awkwardness. So anyways, I'm gonna divide this into two parts because I got stuff from the Disney stores like in each park that have like all the same stuff and all the stuff you can buy online. And also um, things I got from the World Pavilion at Epcot, mostly Japan, but got stuff at other places too there. So anyways, kick it off. This is a magnet and it's the world's cutest magnet. It's, um, I think it's supposed to be one of those giant candy apples that they have. If you've seen them at the Disney parks, they're like really elaborate. They have a ton of them. I've never tried them because I don't like, app like, I don't know. I'd rather it be like a giant cupcake personally, but I actually did get a cake pop that looked exactly like this, but smaller and it was absolutely delicious. I like ate it on the last day and I wished I had gotten more because it was so good. But I love this because it has like the sugar, fake sugar, and this cute little napkin. I don't think I'll use it as a magnet. I'll probably just put it on my shelf because it's rather big and bulky. But it's wicked cute. They also had um, like a turkey drumstick one and like the Mickey waffle one too. So that was really cute. Um, mugs. There's a lot of cute mugs at Disney and it was really hard to pick one because I have so many mugs at home I really had to limit myself. But it took me like three days to figure out which one I wanted and I finally settled on the chip mug because it's just classic and it looks so realistic. It's like you're in Beauty and the Beast sipping out of chip and the detailing is really nice on it. It's all porcelain and it has a little chip of course. And I loved the way that they would display these like all together so it looked like there's a whole cabinet of chip mugs and I think that was part of the selling point for me. <laughs> the only thing I don't really like about it is the handle is kind of awkward. It's really like small. I'm used to like big handles but um, I mean if it was any bigger it wouldn't be true to character so I'm fine with that. So next, oh <laughs> we needed a new spatula so I bought this because it was cute. It has like the little Mickey body and then his glove. And I also got some tea while I was there because I didn't think to bring any tea, which was a mistake, but I ended up buying this cute, oh it's probably all backwards for you guys, I'm sorry, but it's like Alice in Wonderland tea. And it has a black tea that tastes like apricot and it's really yummy and Earl Grey and lemon honey chamomile. And these are all really tasty and it's just really cute. I love the theme. They had really cute um, Alice in Wonderland teacups too, which I was also tempted to get, but had to resist. Um, what else? So this is the first year I've ever bought in any Disney pins. I was really excited. My boyfriend's family is really into collecting them. And when I was little, I bought some, but now that enamel pins are like sort of coming back into style, I thought it'd be fun to get some and put them on like a denim jacket or a collar or something. So this one I bought, this was actually the first thing I bought because I loved it so much. But it's like a little um, mini Aurora pin. And it's like this really sweet um, candy pink color with the glitter crown. I love anything that is pink with gold glitter. I think this would be, it's, I love how simple it is. Some of the pins are really elaborate and have like words and too many lines for me. I like simple. This will be really cute on a denim jacket or something. And the second one I got is the Cinderella carriage. It's also really cute and pretty. I love the, um, I guess you'd call them like the Cinderella symbols from the movie. I love the castle, love the carriage, and I love the glass slipper. So this is perfect. It has this like beautiful gold 
carriage detailing and then these little gemstones. It's just really pretty. So I'm excited to wear those. I don't own any other pins, so this was a great opportunity to get some. And oh, I almost forgot. I have wanted these for over a year and I finally bought them in the last Disney store, the airport Disney store. Because they didn't actually have um, their Tsum Tsums and they didn't really have any Tsum Tsum stuff in the park stores, which I thought was weird. Um, but I used to work at Target and I remember getting these in and like really wanting to buy them, but they were kind of pricey. And so I finally bought them and they're just like the big, well I guess these are actually the medium sized ones, um, Minnie and Mickey Tsum Tsums. I thought they'd be really cute to put on our bed. <laughs> Because they're basically like pillows. They're so soft. And they're made out of this great like um, fleece, terry cloth material. They have little tails. It's so cute. So I was really excited to get those. My boyfriend is a little less excited, but <laughs> made me happy. So I think that's it for um, the Disney Store stuff. So now I'll move on to the Epcot stuff. And I'll start with Norway. I'm a huge Frozen fan. I love... Um, like Scandinavian folk art and just I love the setting and artwork around the movie and so we went on the new Frozen ride it was phenomenal like I should insert my picture from the ride because my face is just like beaming I'm so happy um, it was really great especially I'm um, studying engineering and from that standpoint it was just phenomenal like I love seeing how Disney is constantly um, working with new technologies and trying to make stuff as magical of an experience as they can. So it was really great. And of course, when you get out of the ride, there's a frozen gift shop and they had this really beautiful painting, but it was like $300 that I saw they had postcards of it. And so I got a postcard and I really love this artwork. It's just really cute. It's, it kind of reminds me of um, the small world. It's a small world artwork. Like it's very like cubistic, cubismistic, I don't know, really um, blocky shapes and colors, which I love. And it's called A Sister's Journey and the artist is Joey Chow or Chu, C-H-O-U. So I got that. And then in China next door, I got these cute little panda stickers. They're like 3D, which I love. I just love pressing them really satisfying and they have like this guy's like a burrito panda and this guy's like all ready to cook and he's so excited and this guy has a cheeseburger on his head so <laughs> I just thought they were really silly and cute so I got those and then in the United Kingdom pavilion I got this cute little purse um, I really loved the illustrations they're really cute it has like this little guy riding a bike and it's called the little red bus. I guess that's the name of the illustration. And it has like a cute little pigeon holder, puller, zipper puller. And I love little um, coin purses like this because I put like my lipsticks in them and hair clips and stuff like that. And it's just great for organizing your purse if you don't want lipsticks flying around everywhere. So yeah. And now lastly, Japan. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff in Japan. Not as much as I originally thought, but still got quite a bit. So I got some Rilakkuma stuff, of course. I got this cute little Corley Kuma pen. I've always wanted one of these, but I'm like too cheap to order one online. So I was really excited to find one in the store. It has like, I guess it's like the honey pot. Um, what do they call it? I don't know. Collection, that's what it's called. The Honeypot Collection. I think that's what they had there because I also got this notebook, which is also like has the honey collection theme. I really like this notebook because it was very cheap and it's big and it has like this wonderful graph paper, which is great for school because I'm always drawing graphs and diagrams and stuff. So I got that and I got some dishware. Because last time I went, I got this really cute um, cat bowl, and I just broke it a month ago, and I was so sad. So I got a new one, 
It's not the same one, but it still just is cute. It's like these dancing cats around it <laughs> and like this little fruit. And on the inside, it also has more. And I love the size of this bowl because it's perfect for like a small bowl of ice cream or cereal or granola. I'm all about tiny, tiny bowls. <laughs> Um, and I got this cute little cat mug too. Has like these fun running cats on it. And then this one's like all surprised, like ah! And the handle has cat and some paw prints. It's a little small for tea and stuff, but it was so cute that I don't care. And some snacks. I got some really cute snacks. These I literally just ate and they are so yummy. They're like these um, chocolate, strawberry, like almost like Hershey Kisses. But I bought this because I loved that packaging. This design is just so cute. And ugh, I haven't tried these yet, which is a surprise because I'm dying to eat the whole bag. They're matcha green tea Oreos. And I probably should have bought like three bags of these because they're going to be delicious and I'm never going to find them again in Massachusetts <laughs> but yeah they actually had a few different kinds of these they had like vanilla cream which I thought was just like our regular Oreos here so we didn't get them but could be different and they had chocolate too which we have here and lastly I got this weird little foam ice cream candy because um, I follow Doodle Date on YouTube they're like this cute couple from England and they make like drawing videos together every Sunday and they make snack videos too and they um, did like a Japanese snack video recently and they got one of these and they said that the texture was really great <laughs> which is surprising because it looks like styrofoam and they said it was yummy so I'm excited to try this and oh I forgot lastly I got some um, Miyazaki souvenirs because you can't not get that. <laughs> and these are my favorite. These are so cute. They're like little um, letter sets, but they are supposed to be tea bags. So this is the Totoro one. I don't know why it's so bright. Oh, oh no. Messing up my tripod, my book tripod. But so anyways, it's um, berry tea. There's this cute little tea bag. This is the back of it. And so what you do is the tea bag opens up and you can write on it. And then this is the envelope, which I thought was so cute. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to open this and use them because it's just too cute to even open. And this is the other one. It's Kiki. And it's got rose tea. And it's basically the same thing, just a different design. Look how cute it is, though. <laughs> I love it. And then I also got this um, Kiki's fan. So it was really hot and I thought about getting a fan, but then I was like, oh, I don't want to spend the money on a fan that I'm going to use just while I'm here. But then I was like, oh, but this one I can like put on my wall and it'll be like cute little wall art. So it has these pretty roses and I love this little croissants and jam and baguettes and it's just really cute. And this is the back side. I love it. They had a Totoro one too. That was really cute, but. I love the big goods on this one. <laughs> and they wrote my name on it in Japanese too, which was really sweet. So yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I also got this necklace, which I guess is worth showing. It's like the little um, Mickey Mouse hat, Mouseketeer hat, I don't know what it's called. It's such a classic symbol though. And it, you can't see it in this, but it's like these really pretty sparkly crystals, super sparkly, which I love. But yeah, I think that's it. Um, thank you for watching and putting up with my awkwardness. I keep staring. I'm sorry, I keep staring at myself because it's the front camera. But I should probably be staring at the lens itself. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, I hope you like this video regardless. I hope there's people out there that like cute stuff as much as I do and will appreciate it. <laughs> um, thank you so much if you watched it. And let me know if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.